no idea what it is. Um, it just looks like a bar of fudge. Whoa! That's... This, is, this is just sugar. Pop up. Tastes like cardboard. No thanks. Mm. Welcome to our camper van. This is where we're doing our snack video, our yeah. British snack a British or video. UK snack video. <laughs> it's so random. I know, it's a little bit weird this whole setup, but we're gonna do it outside. It is far too windy and the light is shocking. So we're at this beautiful here we are. spot not too far from St Andrews. We're at this little campsite perched on top of a hill mm -hmm. overlooking the ocean. We thought this would be the perfect spot to set up tables and chairs. Yeah. But it's insanely windy, so yep. Here we are inside of our little camper, which mm -hmm. we've actually spent the last four nights. Four nights in four Scotland. Nights. We're in Scotland, Scotland yeah. by the way. Yep. Didn't say that, but, but um, we have been yeah. in the UK now for a month. a month, and we've travelled from London right up to the top of the Scottish Highlands. Mm -hmm. Now I've come back down to the west, Devon, east, east coast, east, mm -hmm. <laughs> east coast. southeast coast. Yep. Um, and yeah, we're going to try some. British snacks! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. What do we start with first? I think we should start with savoury first. Marmite. Marmite. So we were told to try this from Jamie and Hannah. And I think it's you have to as well. It's the rival to Vegemite, which is the... I feel is going to be the superior spread, but we can, we're not going to write it off straight away. The unstoppable Vegemite, pretty much. Unstoppable. Yeah. <laughs> unstoppable? Unstoppable? That's not, that's not the word. It doesn't anyway. matter. But I've pre buttered a piece of bread. So I imagine it's a lot like Vegemite. So tell me if I've done this wrong. I've put a whole heap of butter, like I would with Vegemite, on the bread and then put a heap of Marmite. Over Steve top of it. puts way too much Vegemite on his bread is, anyway. Is that so too much? I don't know. There's only one way to find yeah, out. Let's give it a go. <laughs> I've never tried this before either. We do have it in Australia, mm. but no one buys it. Good. Oh, it's mm. like caramel. It's really stringy compared to um, Vegemite. Vegemite. It's also a yeast extract. It's got celery in it too, apparently. So I don't know how they make this, but Australian Vegemite is made by... There's a hair there. Oh, that's... Oops, all that. Gross. Australian Vegemite is actually a byproduct, byproduct of Yum. beer, like beer making. Is it this, the yeast? Yeah. Is it wheat? Yeah. It's, uh, honestly, it's very similar. Don't you think? It's just less... Uh, less. Kind um, of the same. It does. It's just not as pungent as Vegemite from Australia. It's a little bit sweeter, I think, mm. as well. It's a tiny little bit sweeter. I really like this. Me too. This is the smallest one we could buy. We bought it at the very start of this trip. Mm -hmm. It's quite expensive. And we, was. and we haven't actually opened it until now because we've wanted to obviously film this video. <laughs> right. I like that. I'm excited to keep eating this mm -hmm. for the next few days we've got left in Scotland. I'm going to rate that a 9 out of 10. What do you rate it? We're going to do ratings. Are we? Yep, we are now. Yeah, I'm going to go with a, a 9 as well. 9. The next savoury snack. Monster Munch. We have been carrying this bag of chips around for weeks i think I, since you got them in we got them in london manchester manchester, manchester? Mm. weeks um <laughs> they're probably all squished and chew um crumpled but whatever i imagine they're gonna taste good we were told again by jamie and hannah they're from liverpool in the uk to get the pickled onion flavor so that is going to be interesting i love pickled onions how do you, you like yep, pickled onions yeah. i've never had them in a Chip flavor. Oh, though. yum! Oh, that smells good. It smells like. Oh, it like burns. Smells like vinegar. Burns your nostrils. It smells like vinegar. So, I've had Monster Munch a couple times. The different flavors um, throughout the UK. I love the chips. Like, they're just really like, like sort of crunchy, a little bit oily. Yum. Mm. Mm. 9.5 out of 10. Something's gonna have to be really, really awesome for me to give it a 10 out of 10. So. Love that. I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna compare all these to Australian snacks. But they've got the texture of. Um, cheesel. Yeah, a cheesel. Cheesel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same as a cheesel, the little orange mm. rings. They're delicious. I really like those. Yum. Really savory, really vinegary. I like They're this. made of corn as yeah. well. That's mm. interesting. I'm actually quite hungry. So you'll probably see me eating handfuls of everything as we go along. These are gluten free as well. Are they? Mm. Pretty good. So there's another thing that I've seen everywhere in the UK. Iron, Iron brew. brew. Iron brew? 
I thought it was brow. I brow. I'm, I'm brew. Wait, I'm brow. no, it's not, is it? Urn brew. Urn it doesn't brew. even have an O in it. I R N. I've got no idea what this is supposed to taste like. I reckon maybe like uh, a Fanta. It smells like um. What smell? Uh, you'll know. Creamy soda. Creamy soda. That's it. But it's I like creamy obviously soda. orange. I do like creamy soda. I love sarsaparilla, Portello, all of those drinks. So I'm hoping that it does have that kind of flavour. Creamy soda. Really? Yep. Exactly the same mm. as creamy soda. Maybe a tiny bit more orange flavour. It's super sweet. I really like I can see why that's popular. Yeah. You can get this anywhere in the UK. We've seen it. I've seen it everywhere. Everywhere. All right. I think, what's the next? Okay. Ooh. We're trying to go from the most savoury to the sweetest. So I'm going to I assume. I just grabbed that sweet drink for the sweetest That's thing. all right. We <laughs> needed to wash our cheesels. Not cheesels. Munchies. Monster, mun monster munch. Down with something. So the next one we've got is Orkney Thin Oat Cakes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just assuming they're going to be like a biscuit yeah. made of oats, which is exactly what it says on the packet. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think they've got sugar in them. So I think it's going to taste like cardboard. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee we're eating this wrong. You've got to eat them <laughs> with, something. with something. I imagine Maybe with Marmite. a bit of Marmite on it would be good. Or like a cream cheese. Yeah. Or Oh my god, I've just got we'll crumbs just all in the van. The oh, they're super thin. Really hard to open. They're exactly. Oh, they're yum. I like them. They're really good. With a dip, I mm. I reckon that would be really nice with some sort some kind of like dip or cheese on top of it, like sliced cheese. Like, they don't taste like anything. I like them. Mm. They're nice. You could, yeah, you've these with dip. Yeah, you've definitely got to add something. <clears throat> yeah, I want to know what, I want to know how people eat these. Yeah. Or do you just eat them like this? They're not, I like them. Anyone from the UK, let us know how you, what you would normally eat on these. From one dry biscuit to the next. Shortbread. Shortbread. Oh, shortbread, okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. These are Dean's shortbread. And I think this is made in Aberdeenshire, Aberdeenshire, and it's from Scotland, so obviously you can buy shortbread anywhere in the world, but we wanted to get this specific one, and I think maybe shortbread does originate, oh, I thought it was double packed, it is not, all right, well, big chunks they are it. massive, oh my god. I'm going to make such a mess. We're going to leave so many crumbs in this van. So this van too didn't come with any sort of <laughs> broom or dustpan or anything like that. No. So All right, over I'm the gonna... last couple of days we have trashed it a little bit. We'll eat it over a plastic bag. Oh God, this video just gets better and better, doesn't it? But it is what it is, whatever. All right. Shortbread. Oh, it looks really buttery. Oh, so buttery. Yum. I love that. Yum. Mm. I hope there's something here that I don't like. What happened to rating things? Oh, okay. So, um, oat cakes, seven, seven, eight, whatever. I don't know, like... By itself, it's probably hard to. I think it needs... Two? That's not nice. Well, it needs something. Just by itself. I, I'm like, going to give it a seven. All oh, right, Steve gives it a two. I would never eat He's those. He's a harsh critic. I would never eat those by themselves. Is that all we've had? The Marmite and uh, the Iron Brew. Iron I Brew. like... Cr creamy soda I would give that a nine I'll give it a five only because I don't drink a lot of soda either yeah if we were gonna so, get a soda it would be like a Diet Coke yeah. or I love lemon anything lemon I would get like a lift a solo or like a lemon Fanta or these, the San Pellegrino lemonada delicious this is good either really mm. nice I like that a lot that would be perfect with a tea I'm with a cup of tea just about to say that um so next up uh, hobnobs. Hobnobs. We grabbed the milk chocolate. Chocolate. So whenever I think of hobnobs, I think of the old British comedy bottom. I used to watch it when I was a kid. What's that? Look, I've got a packet of chocolate hobnobs. <laughs> oh my god. Where they go camping and they only bring hobnobs to eat. It's pretty funny. <laughs> my dad used to tape them when I was a kid with the old school VCRs. Nice to watch them when I was only about, I think, 10 years old. VCR? Yeah. VHS? VHS. 
What's a VCR? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> the, old school, the old school tapes. VCR. But yeah, this is them. It's like an, is it an oat cookie? Yeah, it's an oat cookie with the chocolate on the top. So you can buy all different, um, you can buy them plain, you can buy them the dark chocolate. Mm. I love that texture. Again, good with a tea or a coffee. They kind of taste like an Anzac biscuit. Mm. With golden, does it have golden syrup in it? Anzac cross digestive. Digestive. I like these. I like the shortbread a lot better though. I think I prefer these. Mm. I like the chocolate. I would, I would eat them, and we will eat the whole packet. But mm, seven, seven, and the short, oh, the shortbread. Mm, they were good. I say nine for those shortbread. This oh, is yeah. a, our dinner, by the way. <laughs> all of these snacks because we're not going to let them go to waste. No. So we are going to be consuming all this for our dinner, which I'm not mad about. I think they're an eight. I like them. An eight? Yeah. All right. This is what I've been most excited for because mm. I've never heard of this before. It's called a Scottish tablet. We think. I don't think anything because I've got no idea what it is. And it just looks like a bar of fudge. So I don't know if well, that's I think it's what like it's meant to be. Or... Fudge, isn't it? I have no idea. It kind of looks like fudge, but it kind of looks like a shortbread biscuit as well. It kind of looks like a bar of soap. <laughs> Do you want to bite it first or me? I don't, whatever. I think you. Alright. Oh, it broke off like a bit of soap. <laughs> it's just sugar. <laughs> it tastes like I'm eating a solidified bar of condensed milk. That's exactly what it tastes like. Oh, it's so sweet. Mm. My foreheads tingling. <laughs> I thought the um, iron brew was sweet. Whoa. That... This, is, this is just sugar. <laughs> like a bar of sugar. Let me have a look. What are the ingredients? But I reckon, I guarantee without looking, there's condensed milk, sugar, and butter. I reckon that's what the ingredients are. Uh, so the ingredients, sugar, milk, butter, condensed milk, and glucose syrup. All sugars. We've normally seen them sold as like Cool. Little squares, like little lolly squares, but this was a huge chunk. And are you meant to refrigerate it? Or... We have because we we're afraid it was going to melt. Yeah, or eat it at room temperature, or heat it up. Does it melt? Does it? I think I'd kind of like this frozen. I mean, it's super sweet. Once you know what to expect mm. and how sweet it is, I like it. But much like the drink, I wouldn't buy it because I know it's no. just too much sugar. All right, I think we saved the best for last. So the next one here is a penguin, penguin cookie. It is supposed to be similar to a Tim Tam, what we have back in Australia. So chocolate biscuit coated with milk chocolate and then like a layer of, what is in the middle? Like a fudge, fudge or something? Like a chocolatey fudge. Or like a moussey sort of thing. But it looks I'm exactly like this. a Tim Tam. It does kind of, yeah. I feel a bit of a sugar rush from the last <laughs> tablet. Well, we haven't finished with the sugar. So I'm hoping that it does taste like a Tim Tam because I love Tim Tam. So let's one, give it a try. One, two, three, Tim Tam or penguin cheese. Hmm. It definitely tastes like a Tim Tam. Not as good. Sorry. I think a biscuit's different. It's firmer. Mm. Tim Tams are a bit lighter I'd say these are quite dense I think it's a different flavor of biscuit too where the Tim Tam might be a chocolate biscuit this seems more of a like a I don't know kind of like the um, hobnob biscuit an oat biscuit you think mm. it's a chocolate covered biscuit bar filled with chocolate cream nine yeah point five out of ten question is though back home in Australia we have something called a Tim Tam Slam. And it's where you get your Tim Tam, or in this case, your penguin. Bite the opposite corners off. This is the only way to eat a Tim Tam back like at home. So. I think it's gonna be, the biscuit's gonna be too dense to suck the liquid through. Give we'll, it a try. We'll eat a whole pack of Tim Tams in one go like this back at home. Mm -hmm. So yeah, bite the corners off, get your hot coffee or tea, tea. and then I you suck tea, it through. Yeah, I would always make it with a tea. I would not usually do that with the coffee but and then it soaks it all up is it melty mm-hmm 
No thanks. I'm <laughs> all you just fingered it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. They get the slam approved, I guess. Yes. <laughs> there is one left, which I will have later. One. Is there? Oh, the there's a whole packet. heap left. Okay, good. All right, so I think my favorite out of all of those, I can feel a headache coming on from all that sugar. I think my favorite would have been the... Monster Munch. So I'm not really... I really like them, yeah. yeah. I'm not a sweet person. I always gravitate towards savory over sweet. So for me, I'm like, I'm liking the Monster Munch and the uh, Marmite. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to agree. And out of all the sweet things, I really like the shortbread. I thought that was really nice. And the penguins. I like, weirdly enough, even though, like I said before, I would probably wouldn't buy it. I really like the um, tablet. Like if you if you're going for sweet, it's definitely the sweetest thing. Definitely. The Have sweetest a bit of thing. this and wash it down with a bit of this. Oh my goodness, I'm getting a migraine. I can feel it coming on. But anyway, that was that was just a very quick, simple video that yep. we thought we'd film while we were here because we were inevitably going to be trying and eating British snacks yep. while we were spending our time here anyway. So we thought, why not film it and yeah. These are the perfect sort of road trip snacks as we've been driving around. Yes. Like we hired a car in um, Glasgow. the Cotswolds. Oh, sorry, yeah. 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 In England, we hired a car in the Cotswolds, yeah. so we've been getting sort of snacky foods driving around there. Then we had the van now for four nights. Yeah. Another two nights to go. See, Christy, yeah. you really love this as well, because she's going back for more. <laughs> so yeah, these are the perfect sort of like road trip snack foods. Oh, it still blows your head off. I like it. Oh, it's so, I wonder if you, um, Oh, maybe put it on it oat cake. Oh, no thanks. Mm. That's just getting a bit desperate. That didn't work. All right, so I think we are going to finish this video here. The next, we don't know when this is going to come out. The next time you see us, we'll probably be in Romania. Yep. Where we fly to in a couple of days. We've still got the van for another two days. And we are looking forward to... Getting over to Europe. Getting over, yeah, getting mm. over to Europe. We've absolutely loved our time in the UK. We, it's probably... Been one of our favorite best, trips so yeah, far. Yeah. The best experience we've had. Leg. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye. bye.